Can you parallel a Chevy Volt battery and a Nissan Leaf battery together into an off-grid situation? We're going to find out. What we've got is the inverter, the charge controller, the Midnight Classic charge controller, the Magnum inverters, the Nissan Leaf battery pack, and two Chevy Volt battery packs. And they are in parallel, meaning the red positive wire that comes from the charge controller and goes to the inverter also goes to the positive on the Nissan Leaf pack and jumps over to the positive on the Chevy Volt and likewise on the second Chevy Volt and same for the negatives. And to illustrate that you've got the charge controller wires come out that's the positive goes to a common lead goes up to the Magnum inverter and then all those wires go over to the, the positive wires, come off of this bus bar, and go over to the Nissan Leaf packs. Likewise, the negative wire that comes out of the charge controller goes through your Whizbang Junior to a common bus bar, to all the negative leads, to all the Leaf packs. And then I've added this number four wire coming off the bus bar and a number four wire coming off the negative bus bar and they come over and go to two new bus bars and each of these bus bars have four positives and four negatives that go to four rows each containing four 48 volt modules that is two Chevy Volt batteries, complete Chevy Volt batteries. That's, that's all the modules out of two cars. And they are, like I say, they are in parallel with the Nissan Leaf battery. Uh, they're all fuse protect protected. Each one's got a 30 amp fuse. I, I don't need a 30 in there. I could get away with a 10 amp or even less than that. Um, all combined there's about 54 kilowatt hours, gross kilowatt hours worth of storage. Um, and now where do you charge these? At what point? Where do you set these? Uh, we're going to talk about that briefly. See if I can clip this up here and get these wires on so we can do a voltage test. And you'll see there at 4.06 volts. That's we're we're full charge right now. Um, and you're going to see the same thing here on the Leaf battery. Actually, the Leaf's just a shade higher. And the Leaf, and I've noticed that there's about a two tenths voltage, two tenths of a volt higher on the Leaf than there is on the volt batteries and I, I believe that's just due to distance that's just due to this the length of these wires you got that many more feet of wire and yeah I probably could have made this like a number zero wire or whatever and got it down lower but it don't matter 4.08 is just fine on the leaf battery um, and it is an absorb right now so there's still some voltage going into them uh, now why do we pick 4.08 Zero 06 as a target voltage maximum. That's because from the factory, a Chevy Volt, its, its nominal maximum charge is 386 volts. The factory maximum charge, absolute maximum, is 390. Uh, from what I was told from a friend of mine that knows a lot about Chevy Volts, he says 390 is the limit. But what this does is this, this only charges this battery to about 85%. And 
the reason you want to do that is if you don't charge that lithium pack fully or you stay away from the ends, you stay away from the absolute top and the absolute bottom, they'll last. There are Chevy Volts out there, many Chevy Volts out there, with over 300,000 miles on the original batteries. There are examples, there are cases of 400 plus thousand miles on the original batteries. Uh, and the way they're, and, and in fact, the latest version of the Chevy Volt, they have gone ahead and raised this voltage up, and they're allowing the owners to use more of the battery. And the reason is because they found that they can, that the original scheme that they had was probably a little conservative, meaning they were taking extra precaution with the battery voltage and, and more, maybe more than they needed to because the batteries just aren't wearing out. They're just going. So now the, the theory here is um, what I'll be able to do, and I have done this already, is I've lowered my absorb voltage and my float voltage. Uh, and, and I've set the midnight controllers. You know, you can toggle through and you can set your absorb and your, and your, and your float. I have lowered them because I have so much storage now that I'm going to be able to take the leaf battery and the, and the volt batteries and I'll be able to, 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 to lower their maximum charge and run them at that reduced charge which should substantially extend the life especially of the leaf battery. It should really extend it out. The leaf battery is uh, a year and a half old and the, the volt batteries they're used but they, they only had uh, around 40,000 miles on them. Uh, so that's the theory and we'll see how long it'll 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 work. I'm uh, I'm expecting, um, I'm hoping to get many years out of these batteries. And in theory, uh, based on how they've behaved in automobiles, I should. So that's the uh, that's the result of my addition uh, to my battery bank, and uh, it's kind of exciting. I was a little bit nervous the first day I connected everything up. I thought. I don't know that this has been done before, uh, but it made sense to me logically that it should work. So it's been hooked up now for about a week and everything works beautiful. So if you have any questions, feel free to ask. And thanks for watching.